In this lesson, we are going to discuss the aggregate supply curve. We have price levels for the vertical axis, and we have real GDP for the horizontal axis, PL1 and Y1 representing our starting points in an upward sloping short run aggregate supply curve. That's what SRAS stands for. There's actually a long run aggregate supply curve as well, but we're going to focus on the short run aggregate supply curve in this video lesson. We start at PL1 and Y1, and what we have with the aggregate supply curve in the short run is we have a direct relationship between price levels and GDP. So if our price levels are going to increase, our GDP is also going to increase. We increase from PL1 to PL2 and Y1 to Y2. We are moving along the supply curve, meaning that as our expenditures increase, so will our GDP. We previously stated that there is a direct relationship between price level and GDP when discussing the short run aggregate supply curve. So if our price levels decrease from PL1 to PL2, our GDP will also decrease from Y1 to Y2. So what is happening here? Our expenditures are decreasing as we move downward along the short run aggregate supply curve. Our price levels are going down, our expenditures are going down, meaning that our GDP is also going to be decreasing. There will be situations when we see an inverse relationship between price levels and real GDP when dealing with the short run aggregate supply curve. There will be situations when the supply curve shifts to the right, creating an entirely new curve. And we're going to label this SRAS1, which in return lowers price levels and at the same time is going to increase our GDP from Y1 to Y2 and is going to lower our prices from PL1 to PL2. This is an increase in the short run aggregate supply curve. So we just stated that there will be situations when we see an inverse relationship between price level and GDP when dealing with the short run aggregate supply curve. Let's say in this situation the curve shifts to the left moving to SRAS1. Our price level is going to increase and our GDP is going to decrease from Y1 to Y2 and our price levels are going to be increasing from price level 1 to price level 2. This is a leftward shift in the short run aggregate supply curve. 